Bonjour everybody and welcome to my studio. Today we are going to do an amazing drawing, cartoon drawing of course. So I've got the material, I've got my paint, I've got my brushes, we are going to put this aside. I've got a cup of water as well, that's for afterward. I've got my two pens, so one thick one and one thin one, that's a thin one here and the thick one here and I have I have my lovely cup as well <laughs> uh, that I use for all my pens and I have it's going to be very important today we are going to work on a sketch so it's going to be a little bit more complex than the previous one that we've done but you follow me and everything will be fine so what I'm going to do now is put my paint away for now uh, oh I also have of course a palette um, for the paint uh, as well so we work on the same paper this is watercolor paper and my palette is also watercolor paper so I'm putting my pens here up up and we are going to start with the sketch hold on hold on, hold on. what is great about today is I can show you what we are going to draw yeah, so Christmas is coming and we've got cats. Look at this. So this is exactly what we are going to draw. And it is so beautiful that we thought it should be one of our Christmas mug. So this is available on our shop. I will put a link below, but we've got Violet. We've got Bobby and we've got Velcro pumpkins. So look at this. Shall we start? Mm, go on. Yes, let's start now. Oh, Velcro pumpkin is always up for it. This is very important. We're going to start in the middle. Yeah, so in the middle. And normally we do egg-shaped animals, but this time we are going to do a different type of cartoon animal. So it's more working on the big head, big eyes, but we are going to keep the shape of the body a little bit more. I'm going to work on the head. So I think I want the I want the the ground line to be around here. So very light, very light on the pencil. Uh, make sure that your pencil is well uh, sharpened as well. So you don't have to so, so you have quite thin line that actually make things much more precise. And then what we are going to do is start. So we are in the middle of the page approximately. And I got a middle line here. So the, these cats, the three cats, they are going to, they are going to face us. So watch out because we are going to spend a lot of time on the sketch, and the rest is going to be quite quick, quite quick. Thanks to that. So I think, I think, um, I'm going to have. The, it's a cartoon, so this is the top of the head. And if you know, I work for a farm called the Canhill Countryside Centre and the cats I'm drawing, if you follow the farm online, the Canhill Countryside Centre, you would know that we've got 12 cats at the farm and I'm going to draw three of them that are very often featured because they, they, are, they have, so you see I'm doing a sort of trapeze shape, yeah? The eyes are going to be here and the nose here. Um, our cats have like really strong personality and the one I'm drawing here is Bobby and Bobby is the grumpy cat of the farm. Do you, you didn't know cat can be grumpy? Of course cat can be drunk, grumpy and Bobby, I have to say Bobby is kind of the king of grumpiness. And so for this reason we've got to draw him with a grumpy face. So bear with me, we are going to, so that's but his nose is going to be around here. So, yes, around here. So a nose of a cat is like a little curve. So you do have like that trapeze type of shape. I did the cheeks, cheeks like that. Yeah, that's the middle of the face. What's happened with the middle of the face is that he's gonna go like that because he's grumpy. And I'm going to do an eyebrow and a second eyebrow here. And he's, he's going like that. Don't worry too much about the hair and all that. Do the sketch that you want. We will see that afterward when we actually um, use our definite pen. So 
as I said, the sketch very light because we are going to erase it afterward once we have done the definite, the definite sketch. So the little nose is going like that with cats. It's going like that. And then we're going to go down, go down a little bit. We've got one nostril. It goes down, one nostril, and it goes down. And there is a little, there's a little line there, a little, little, um, it's almost like the nose splits, even if it doesn't, it's only a sort of wrinkle. And then, and then you're gonna, you're gonna laugh at that. And then that's Bobby's mouth. Mm. Oh, God, I don't like it. You see, I'm a bit, I'm a bit strong here. I should probably not be that strong, but that gives you an idea. So I'll have to rub it well. And it's, it, the, the pen is going to go over anyway. Um, okay. So now we are going to do the eyes. So uh, we're going to actually finish. I was planning on doing the body, but let's actually finish the face because it's a funny face. And I want you to, to, uh, to look at, to see how funny it's going to be. So this is the eye I'm doing here. So he's not happy. So he's got a, a sort of angry eyes. Okay. So he's, he goes like that. And then like that. And I'm, I'm, I'm giving him some bigger eyes than the reality. You know, cats have sort of big eyes and both their eyes are in front of the face like human. This is why we actually love cats particularly. is because they look... Their look, their look with the eyes is not the look like most animals on both sides of the head. Their look are right in the front, and so and so it's very um it's very easy to to have sort of more emotion towards animals that are like that only because they seem closer to us, um, probably genetically, um, but anyway, we have so many cat lovers out there, and I'm so pleased because. I think you're going to like what we do. So you can see, can you see the grumpiness already? I can see the grumpiness already. <laughs> so, so our little, uh, our little, or should I say big, big Bobby, is big Bobby? Big Bobby has his eyes like that. We're not we're doing human eyes. You can see I'm not doing, normally the pupil of a cat is actually, is actually, um, I think it calls an oblong. I'm not sure about the name of the of the shape, but you know, it goes like that. So we are not doing that. We are keeping it human because it's a cartoon. So once again, that's for the same reason. So <laughs> can you see? Can you see the grumpiness there? And this one, these eyebrows are probably going to get it a little bit more down. So it gives, when you have a uh, difference, you know, the face is not quite symmetrical. It can actually give quite a lot of extra expression. So we've got, we've got the face. Obviously, Bobby has ears. So my eyebrows is here. I think, I think his ears, one of his ear is, is going to go like that. We are going to keep a pointy ear. Pointy ear, slightly curved, slightly curved, but still, still quite pointy. And I think it's gonna go a little bit like that. Okay. And now we've got another ear, but you will see why I'm doing that. I'm keeping the flat flat of the face, but it's because there is a little surprise coming up. So, and the other ear is like ooh, a little bit. So very pointy. We are very pointy, and the rest of the ears that is, is almost, yeah, it's almost coming like at the intersection of these two lines here. And, and then the, the fold of the ear is here. Okay. So this is, this is Bobby here. Bobby is a black cat. He's got a little bit of a white here and white on his chest. So let's do the, let's do his neck. So I'm, I'm just, you see, I'm doing, I'm doing a little bit of that, but you can do a line because all the hair bits, if you want, you could actually do some line like that, but the hair bits, we are going to do it afterward with the pen. So it's it's up to you if you feel more comfortable doing, doing you know, some, some things like that, or if you feel more comfortable doing something like, if I do the shoulder, some things like that, do whatever you like, because that sketch is gonna be uh, deleted. So then I'm gonna do the little pose. I love cat pose. They are so cute. 
you know. So we got one here, and his little toes do that, like that. I think normally they probably got three or four, um, which is something. But we, because it's a cartoon, it doesn't matter. And then, and then it goes like that. And then what we're gonna do? Bobby is a beautiful cat, and so that's the chest here. Now his chest. We're gonna do that because he that we want to keep it white, yeah. He's gonna he's gonna keep white his uh, his chest here. It doesn't matter, you know. If you do your your own cat and and you you miss the markings, um, yeah, it's not exactly the same. It, it doesn't matter because it's a it's a cartoon, you know. You are allowed. All all you want is like a really strong expression that represent the cat that you want to uh, to do. So Bobby is a grumpy one. You always have something to complain about. You know, we all know some people like that. But it doesn't matter, we love them anyway. And up, and up, and the leg. So shoulder, his shoulder. They have, cats have interesting shoulders. They can actually, um, that's why their shoulders is not, is not, um, the bones is not kind of fully attached into a socket type of thing. So they can actually, uh, you know, make themselves really thin to go through um, a very, a very tight uh, opening. So um, this is this is quite interesting. I think all the uh, all the the cats, even the big cats, have that. So that's that's a that's a feature of of their body that is really really good because it probably saved them from from a lot of trouble. If they didn't have that, they would be stuck everywhere. Okay, so here I'm doing that a little bit of hair because it's gonna be it's gonna be he's sitting, so it's gonna be his his uh, his thigh, his the back leg or the thigh of the back leg. So it's gonna go like that. So the like that. Like that. And then and then we are going to have the leg, yeah? So you can see what I've done here. You can see that's the that's a big thigh. That's the big thigh, and uh, and so so it doesn't start like that. It start, you know, we are already going this way, so already going down. Yeah, we curve, we curve, not quite to the ground, not quite to the ground, and boom, and we've got the little pole that is that is here. Yeah, you can do that as well because actually I like I like that thigh a bit more. So I'm going to try to, so you can do that. Say, so, oh, I prefer the one on that side. It's more, it's more funny and re not realistic actually. I like the fun of it because it's boom. It's it's much more. Um, it's almost like a balloon has been blown up, and and once I once I've got once I use my my permanent pen, I will do like some little things like that. So you see, I don't need to do the hair just yet, and then we got a we got a po. <laughs> isn't it funny isn't it funny also the other thing the other thing if you think the head is not big enough once you actually trace again you can trace a little bit outside so you see how you can modify your drawing you can trace slightly outside and so then it will actually give a little bit more of a body to the face yeah so that's something you can you don't have to have everything right on the sketch and now of course bobby has got a lot of a lot of these yeah, so same thing. You don't have to do the um, the whiskers just now. We can do them afterward. Me, mm. I'm not happy. Oh, Karen is eating rubbish. I don't like it. What do you not like, Karen? I, I don't like Christmas. Oh, that's a good idea. No, Karen. No, no. Don't do this. Don't do this. We are going to put a Christmas hat on Bobby. Oh, Caroline, Caroline. No, you forgot my tail anyway. That's true. So Bobby's tail. Let's do something like that. And then we go back and we are going to, we keep it, we keep it like about the same, the same uh, thickness everywhere. And at, at, towards the end, woo we actually do that. And same thing we can do, we can do hair um, later on for him. Um, but so we'll see. Now, Christmas hat. So Christmas hat is going to be here. Colin, I said no, I said no. You will love it once you have it on. 
Come on, we doubt this. We're going to go a little bit down like this. Mm. And you see, because it's a sketch, all the, you know, I did a little sort of hair on Bobby. On Bobby. It, it, it's going to go off because it's going to be hidden by the hat. So I'm, take, I'm taking that off. And now the other side of the hat. Mm. And I think I want his hat for the pom-pom in the front. It shows a little bit of sadness. Not that Christmas hats have emotion, but actually, why not? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like that. I'm going to do a little fold like this and like that. And then it's going to go come on, rubbish. Poppy, be nice. And the pom-pom is going to be right here. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, oh come on. Corin, I don't like this. So this is this is Bobby. So now, Bobby, Bobby has got um, Bobby is uh, bigger than Violet. So Violet is going to be here, and um, Corin, I don't like Violet. Bobby, and uh, and so if she's a bit smaller, so she's going to be still on the same ground. So place your ground here, perfect, and then and then I think her chin is going to be a bit lower. It's going to be about there. And then the top of her head, if Bobby is about here, is probably she's going to be about there. Something like that. You don't have to respect that too much, but that gives you an idea. So we are going to have Violet. So Violet. Violet is a, Violet is a lovely cat. If you, uh, if you have uh, come to the farm or you will come to the farm, Violet is going to be right right with you and she is going to want to uh, climb on you and um, and just be your friend forever. Uh, she's one of these cats that love being picked up and have a cuddle. So let's do something like that. So now it's Christmas, don't forget. So Violet is going to have... Violet will be up for a Christmas hat, definitely. But I think because she loves Christmas and she's very... Um, very nice. She might have something else as well. So her head is slightly three quarters this way. So I want to, I'm going to, you know, like we did with the eggs, construction line, like that. Her little nose is probably at three quarter down and she will have big eyes. So her little nose, same as that. So we are going to do up and then a little nostril, up, a little nostril and the split here. And then she is happy, so it's gonna go. It's gonna go like that. Okay, and then and then that's her little chin. So she's like that. She's got a little chin like that. She's younger than Bobby as well, so she's got a bit more definition in her face. Um, which is normal, you know, it's like, it's like human. When you are younger, you got a bit more sort of definition and then, uh, and then you, well, it depends. It depends in human probably more than cats. So now her eyes, she's, she's a cheeky one and she knows she's pretty as well. So we are going to try to represent that in, in the, uh, in the drawing. So she's got, she's got her eyes. She's a girl as well. Uh, she's gray. She's a gray cat. She only have a little white mark on her nose here. So we just pick that, uh, take, taking that into consideration when we actually paint. I won't, I won't, well, I don't need to draw it. I can, I can actually signify, signify it here. So I know it's there, but it's okay. So, cause it's only, it's only, um, a little detail that I can only remember, only because I know Violet very well. And uh, so I want, you will see that. And she's got, we, don't forget, we are going to do eyebrows. We, uh, we like doing eyebrows. We always do eyebrows for cartoons. So she's got one eyebrow here and one eyebrow here. She's very happy. And she, we're going to try to get her to look at Bobby. Yeah. So we do a big, I like that, and a pupil that is over there. And, and one mm, probably going here. That's it. 
she's kind of looking at Bobby. If she's a girl, you can, you know, you feel free to uh, to add to to add a few eyelashes. It immediately works, doesn't it? Eyelashes uh, immediately works. Maybe this pupil is a bit big. But we'll see when we uh, when we trace. Or oh, this one is a bit small. I don't know. One or the other. Okay, so now we've got an ear. So I think the ear is gonna start probably in a, you know that curve here, middle of that curve. We go there, and she she's happy. So straight ears up. She's also beautiful. She's got big ears, um, Violet, which uh, makes her which makes her um, very very cute. Okay, that's the uh, back of the ear. That's the inside here. And then one here going towards, so you see the, you see the, uh, how, how do I explain that? Uh, oh, we got the curve, carry on the curve of the eye, carry on the curve, start the ears, start the ear here. And the other one is going like that. There is something gentle about that ear. Ears are the same thing. With ears, you can actually express emotion a lot with ears on animals. So that's our violet here. Maybe it's a bit more chunky, that ears, because it's, because it's a cat ear. So I'm going to have it a bit chunkier like that. Okay. And now, okay, I'll show you, I'll show you something. I'll show you something because, okay, Violet is going to have a scarf. So I'm going to draw her body without the scarf and then add the scarf. So that will allow me to see exactly what shape the scarf should, the scarf should have. So you, you draw like if there were no scarf. So oh, and her lovely little legs go down here. And then we've got, we've got these amazing little cat toes going like that. And then we've got her the shoulder, the shoulder. She's a bit more crisp than than uh, than Bobby, but she got she got she shorter hair as well, so that kind of makes sense. And and we got her lovely little toes, going like that, and her two little two little legs that touch. It makes it it makes it really cute. So there is one leg. Uh, and the other one, so maybe this one is a little slightly in the front, and this one slightly in the back. But it's, it's, it's ever slightly. You don't need to to um, pay too much attention to this, just like that. And then what I'm gonna have. Violet is quite. Uh, she's quite um, uh, svelte. She's quite thin. She's a nice. She's a nice cat. Um, still, you know, still being healthy, of course. But she is. She's a lovely, um, lovely looking cat. And then we've got her little bottom there. And I think we probably will have. How about that? Oh, she's very cute. And I want her to have, she's happy. So she, her tail is going to be like that. Ooh. So I tell you, it's very often like that, actually, like very alert, you know. And now, now we've got Violet like this, you know, I know where the scarf is going to be. The scarf is going to be under her chin. So it's going to go like that. Look, this is, a, this is a thick scarf because obviously we are at Christmas. It's cold. I mean, we don't like cold. And cats, that's right. Cats don't like cold. Oh, Caroline, Caroline, please give me a big scarf. So I'm going to do that. It's like, it's almost like a butterfly. Boop, boop, like that. And then here on her chin, I'm going to add a little bit, you'll see, because you, I'm going to create a knot. You know, you always make a knot with the, with the, like a fold, a knot for, for your scarf. So it's going to go like that. And this one, I think is going to go like this. Boop, 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 boop. And... By the way, scarf in French is écharpe, une écharpe, une écharpe. Caroline, I like écharpe, yes, mostly, mostly in the winter, isn't it? Oh, yes. So now, you know, I've got some little chin, so 
you know it could be that i i create later on some little hair there and so i'm going to I'm, i can actually delete now the the neck we don't need it anymore but you see it fits so it's better to draw the what's everything that's going to happen underneath and then you draw your your final afterwards so you know exactly where it sits and then up up And now we can, if there is a pattern to that scarf, it's going to go like that. So you can follow a little bit the, you know, the, the line that you've done. And that actually creates a nice fold as well. And now here, and it depends, we, we might see and, um, and create some, um, some stripes. So black and white or, sorry, uh, red and white or something like that, like Christmassy. So, oh, oh, oh. so that gives... That gives a little bit of a, of a direction to, um, you, you can see the fold and you can see the, the knot actually being, that has been done here. So now she's got a Christmas hat. Caroline, yes, I, I do have a Christmas hat. Caroline, I love Christmas. You love Christmas? <laughs> yes, we say Christmas. Caroline, I can't say it. I just say Christmas. Okay. Up. And... So that's the Christmas hat. Her Christmas hat is probably going to go to not like Bobby. It's going to go like, like that. So it's very similar, but just like that. Ooh. Lovely little Violet. Isn't she cute? Isn't she cute? So now we, we can carry on our line. We've got another cat. His name is Velcro, Velcro Pumpkin. So Velcro because when he was small, so he's approximately the same height as Bobby. He's younger than Bobby, but same height. But Velcro was, uh, uh, his name was that because when he was a kitten at the farm, um, he, sorry, I'm just getting my, Yes, that's fine. He was a little cutie and he was constantly wanting to to be particularly with Chris, actually. And so we call him Velcro because he was always stuck to Chris. <laughs> so, yes, there you go. So same same type of shape as uh, as Bobby is very like a trapeze, you know, like this. When Violet has probably got a bit more of a, a soft triangle, uh, reverse triangle and uh oh, reverse i don't know if it's reverse actually you know what i mean by triangle and then um so so he's got more like these little cheeks there and then and then we are going to go this way with this little chin you will see because she's slightly kind of three quarter he's facing he's going to be three quarters this way and and here he's got his other little cheek we like these little cheek for cats. It makes them, it it, it gives them such a such a lovely uh, cheeky character, doesn't it? And then, so his head, he's got his head slightly looking up. So, you remember the construction line that we've done on on all the eggs? There you go. And a bit of uh, just a tiny bit of a three quarter. You know, not too much, not too much. So then, that gives us the place of the nose. That is slightly this higher than Bobby, but you will see why. So let's do the nose. Follow me up a little curve. And we got the little nostril, nostril. We go down the split. Up, we've got, we've got his nose. Yeah. And then Velcro Pumpkins is always happy. He is a very, very happy cat. Uh, there is always a good vibe about him. So we are going to do a big smile. So follow me. That's very easy. You just do that. Cats always have a split, you know, in their mouth, so you can see it on all of them. That's very typical from um, from cats in general. And then he's got his big mouth open with a big smile, like that. And we add this, you know, we've done this before. We add this, that adds to a smile. Isn't he smiley already? You can't miss that, can you? And we got, we're going to do a little tongue, because cats have tongue. And talking about their tongue, 
their tongue is very hairy, isn't it? So it's like when they when they give you a kiss, it's very um, it's it's almost like um, the green uh, <laughs> it's it's the green uh, side of a of a sponge, you know, the um, the harsh side. But uh, it's uh, it's because they they actually catch hair and things like that with them, so they can. This is their. It's almost like their their comb, isn't it? <laughs> or their hairbrush. Um, but it's very particular, you know. My my cat my cat give me kisses very often, and it's always a bit. It's always very strange, uh, but but lovely, of course. So uh, we are going to have an eye like this. So look at this. What I'm doing here. I'm doing this and this immediately may not make an eye that is smiling because when you smile, when you really smile, you know, your cheeks goes up. And so your eyes get a little bit, um, um, you know, crisp here, shall we say, when actually Bobby is not. So no. And 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 uh, and Violet is a little bit, but she's only smiling. She's not she's not laughing uh, as much as uh velcro pumpkin so and the other eye the other eye here for velcro and he's having his pupil there in the center woo woo he's looking at you i think and shall we do yeah little bit of look at that look at velcro so velcro has got ears so he's got one ear starting here I think they are quite hairy, his ears, so we do that. And this is the back of the ear and the inside going like that. And then actually the ear needs to be a little bit, a little bit wider, I think. And the reason is otherwise it looks like a squirrel ear. So this is a cat ear that we want. And the other one is going to go like that. There is some, some hair. It's quite, uh, his his coat is uh is longer than violet uh so I would say Bobby and and Velcro has got a longer coat longer hair than violet um so that's why you can allow yourself to do a bit more of a, of that it's a detail it's a detail if if your cat if your cat has got <laughs> should I do a hang on let's give me an idea. Almost an ear back, which is not a problem because he's happy. An ear going back. You see, you can play with that. That's the advantage of this the sketch. So that's what you do. You check it. Is it gonna work? I think it's gonna work. And then. And then he's going to have a Christmas hat. So yes, Carlette, I want a Christmas hat. And he's going to have a nice one. So he's covering a little bit of his ears and his forehead, but don't worry about that because we're not going to draw it. He's going to go and be deleted with a sketch afterward. So his hat is going to go whoop, this way. And then this way and probably the pom-pom. Pom-pom is going to go here. And then how about that? that and there's always a fold okay so all you do is that and that just creates a fold actually that's not that that's not the right i want to fold the other side so in that case you actually you actually lengthen that line rather than this one yeah and that works better for that for what i want to show right so this is velcro pumpkin so now velcro pumpkin has got a coat like a proper coat, you know, not not the not the not his hair, but I want him to have a winter coat. So I'm going to draw as as I as I did with Violet, I'm going to draw his shoulder and his shoulder and his little legs. Good, like that. Like that. And now he's got his other shoulder. And his little legs. 
I'm going to refine that. And then he's got, he's got his thigh, like that. Very similar to Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Colin, he's copying me. Well, he's a cat. And well, it's not a reason, you know, <laughs> Bobby. And so, so how do you say cat in French? Well, actually, it's very easy. You say chat. Chat. Un chat. He's a cat. Un chat. So that is Velcro pumpkin. His tail is going to be... He's always super happy. So he's going to go... And then... Same thickness, you just follow back and now you start tapering out so it gets bigger. Well, I did that a little bit too much actually. It gets bigger, just like that. Maybe that one actually starts here. Oh. Okay. Now, I'm going to do the inside of the, of the legs. So it's going to go like that. And this one is going to go like that. Now Velcro is in the winter coat. Yes, Caroline, I'm going to, I'm going to do Christmas winter coat. Look, we're going to do that as well. He's got fun. Uh, you want the winter winter coat? Yes, Caroline. So he's got a big collar. Winter winter Christmas coat. He's got a, a quite a thick collar that goes down there. As I said to you, it's the same thing as the scarf. So now we've got the body. It's going to get covered by the coat mostly, but we know where we are at, and so. Then I'm going to do that. And then we got the big collar this way as well, like that. And then like that. Okay. Then we go down. And there is like the, the series of buttons that is going to go there. I think the coach is going to stop around here. So. We can go for it. Well, that is going to stay white. Like that. And we got one, two, three, four, un, deux, trois, quatre. And then that makes them look like buttons. So four buttons, un, deux, trois, quatre. And now we've got the sleeve. So the sleeve, you just you just keep the line like that, and all you have to do is the same, like fluffy, it's going to be white, fluffy white, and the coat is going to be like that, it's going to be red. It's going to be, it's going, you just have to do that, like a little cuff sort of things. Yeah, a little um, fluffy cuff, and you got it, and that's, and that's your coat, that's your coat all done, you see? So this is a sketch which was, you know, it's it's a longer sketch with much more details. Obviously, we won't forget uh, a lot of uh, a lot of whiskers. To talking about whiskers in French, it's quite funny because in French we don't have a word for whiskers. It's moustache, but moustache means moustache. In in French, in English, you've got two words: you've got moustache for human, and and uh, and for animals, it's whiskers, but in French, it's just moustache. So you, you know, it's easy. It's easy in French. In moustache, Colin, don't call my whiskers moustache. It's so wrong. I'm not French, you know. <laughs> I know you're not French, but if French people talk about you, they will call that moustache. Oh, Colin, so wrong. It's so wrong. <laughs> Bobby, yes, it's Christmas. You should be happy. Mm. Well, I'll try then. <laughs> So now what we are going to do, we are going to uh, use both our pen. So the th I always start with the thin, and then I add the um, I add the thicker to to do the side where there is more shadows. I always imagine that the light comes from here, just because that's the way I work. But the light can come from anywhere. Just remember that the lights. It means that all your thicker lines are going to be on the opposite side of the lights. And also your shadow should actually go this way, but um, we'll see what we do. Okay, so anyway, let's do that now.
Cartoons with Caroline Drawing animals all the time Cartoon animals, artist Caroline So divine Drawing, painting, art so fine Draw along with Caroline Fun characters in a line Creating cartoons with a bit of French Learning to draw with pens and paint on the bench Come along, join the fun, it's a cinch With Caroline, her art skills will surely inch Cartoons with a bit of French learning to draw with pens and paint on the bench. Come along, join the fun, it's a cinch. With Caroline, our art skills will surely inch. Et voilà, so now I'm going to rub the sketch. Cartoons with Caroline, drawing animals all the time. Cartoon animals all the time. We are going to use our paint. So if you, uh, if you want to use pencil, use pencil, use the uh, medium that you like. But for us, we are going to use that paint. So I've got my cup of water here. I've got my palette. You always need a palette. That is a watercolor paper as well. And I've got brushes. So um, I usually have two, you know, two, three brushes, the different size uh, is, is, is more than enough. You want one pointy for the detail and one a little bit more, uh, maybe a flat one like this is good uh, for covering, covering more like bigger area. So what we are going to do is, um, I think that, so violet is gray. So we are going to use some blue, some blue and some, um, some black probably. And yeah, then use the water to uh, decide what, uh, how intense we want the color to be. Um, then Bobby is black. So probably a bit more black and a little bit of blue when, Violet will be a bit more blue, a little bit of black. And Velcro Pumpkin is a ginger cat. So a lot of orange, probably some brown as well. Then the coats. So we are going to keep that white and red for the all the hats. Uh, probably white and red for the scarf and white and red. So red on the coat and on the collar and the cuffs. We are going to keep it white. Now we might, ma we might make some... Um, some uh, shadows, uh, just a light blue for the white, because that's that's how it would work. We'll keep that white for Bobby because he's got a white chest. Uh, he probably has a white spot on the face as well, but I don't know if we're going to keep it because it's a cartoon. We don't have to go through that type of details. Violet has a significant little white mark on the face, so I will try to keep this in. Um, but the rest is uh, the rest is. Uh, is gray uh so oh wait gray blue we are going to use a really nice blue so let's go now cartoons with caroline drawing animals all the time cartoon animals artist caroline so divine drawing painting art so fine draw along with caroline fun characters in a line Creating cartoons with a bit of French Learning to draw with pens and paint on the bench Come along, join the fun, it's a cinch 
With Caroline, our art skills will surely inch. Cartoons with a bit of French, learning to draw with pens and paint on the bench. Come along, join the fun, it's a cinch. With Caroline, our art skills will surely inch. Isn't it amazing? Look at these three lovely cats. We've got Bobby. Oh, Caroline. I don't like Christmas. I, I know you said it before. You said it before. Uh, and Velcro. Caroline, I'm so happy, you know. And and Violet. Oh, Caroline, I just feel so pretty at Christmas. She's just, it's just a lovely time of the year. That's true, Violet. Oh, so this is really lovely. And now, guess what? You can see it on our mug. And of course, don't forget, December with Christmas on our calendar 2025 is our lovely donkeys. So we've got George, we've got Nutmeg, we've got Nelly, little Nelly, and we've got Dolce, who is the mum of Nelly. So uh, there will be a like, link below, of course, and a link for all our mugs as well. And the mug for Christmas as well. Oh, so I hope everybody has a lovely build up to Christmas. And I will see you on the next video. What is it going to be? I don't know. But what do we say, everybody? Mm, Colin, I don't want to say Merry Christmas. That's not what I'm asking. However, we can actually say it in French. Okay. Joyeux Noël. <laughs> Bobby. Oh, that's true. It's Joyeux Noël that we say in French. Joyeux Noël. Joyeux Noël. Thank you, Velcro. Joyeux Noël. Thank you, Violet. And we say au revoir. Au revoir à tous. Au revoir à tous. Oh, au revoir à tous. <laughs>